Grand Rising, welcome to my channel. This is Lighthouse. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Take what resonates. Please leave what does not. Use your own intuition with these messages. Y'all know that. Everything you need to know is below the video. Let's jump right in. Thank you to my ancestors and angels for allowing me to be a clear channel. This video is for Divine Masculine. So the first deck I'm going to be using is my Wild Offering deck. First card out is Despair. And honestly, I do feel a heavy energy. I've, I've taken a lot of deep breaths right before this reading. <sighs> there goes another one. I feel like there's heavy energy around the masculine. Some, some masculines right now are in despair for any number of reasons. The card says, I need your divine intercession right now, O great spirit. Lift this darkness from my soul. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel for your love. Open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel for your love. Somebody's despairing about something, but I feel that they're coming to know that it's going to be okay. That's the energy that I got because everybody goes through ups and downs. I just heard Snoop Dogg, Ups and Downs. I love that song. Everybody goes through ups and downs, ebbs and flows, hills and valleys, and you have to know that it's all part of the divine plan. It's all part of the balance. Who wants to be happy all the time? I mean, you know what I'm saying. Everybody wants to be happy all the time, but would you want to be smiling and all, you know, sprightly all the time? No, because that's not realistic. So the down is part of the, the balance. The second card that we have out is creative blocks. And maybe that's what you're in despair about. I feel some people are in despair about creative blocks. Maybe... I don't know. I'm getting like a deadline. Maybe somebody's an author. I meant to say author, but maybe somebody's name is Arthur. Arthur Avenue. Arthur Ashe. Creative blocks. If you are an artist of any kind. See that? You see that? I didn't even read that. If you are an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine, making it God's alone. I offer this for the highest good to benefit the planet. Release me from any blocks and restrictions. May this serve all who need. And I'm going to repeat that because I'm called, being called to do that. If you are an artist of any kind. Yesterday I was telling the divine feminine that when you're occupationally aligned, working from the heart space, the money must follow. It has to because that is part of the divine plan. If you are an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine, making it God's alone. I offer this for the highest good to, re to benefit the planet. Release me from any blocks and restrictions. Somebody's blocked and, restrict and restricted because I can't even say that. Creatively blocked or just blocked, period. I can't even say that properly. Release me from any blocks and restrictions. May this serve all who need. And maybe be like... Talking as well, I said that to Divine Feminine yesterday, that sometimes, you know, as, as a medium, as a channeler, as a psychic, we are trying to give the message and we, you know, <clears throat> start clearing our throat and stuff like that. Like the message, somebody doesn't want to give the message, but I'll tell you, like I told Divine Feminine, we're going to give it any fucking way. What's coming to me, and I feel like somebody needs to hear this. DMX is coming to me. He is from my hometown of the city of Yonkers. And his message, like the energy right now, like a lot of people don't believe that he was doing God's work because he was a rapper. And that is a fucking lie. You hear me? That is a lie. Because this card says, if you are an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine, making it yours alone. And that came out because that was a slip. It says, making it God's alone. And what I said to Divine Feminine yesterday was, 
one of the messages was self-made. And I always say, when I say I'm self-made, I say angel made. And God says, spirit says, universe says, what is the fucking difference? There is no difference. When you are occupationally aligned, working from the heart space, you are doing God's work. When you are occupationally aligned, working from the heart space, you are doing God's work. DMX never forgot about God in all his travels, wherever he went, meeting a lot of people. He never forgot about God. He was not ashamed. He integrated the higher power into his music. And that is why it is God's work. And I really do believe that is a confirmation from somebody. I've just seen one, one, one and done. I feel like whoever needed to hear that message, it, it, it took it. And now what you're going to do is take it. And I'm seeing a field. My eyes are closed and I'm seeing a field of yellow flowers. Like, take it and run with it. That's what I'm getting. Take it and run with it. When you are occupationally aligned and you are working from the heart space, you are doing God's work. I know the city of Yonkers. I hear a city under siege. I know our, our city needs a lot of prayer right now. I need a lot of, I know a lot of cities. I hear um, Black Rob uh, passed away um, last evening or in the last couple of days. And um, I'm just sending prayers to him and his family as well. There's a lot of changes going on right now. The next card I'm gonna be using is my Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Guidebook. The Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Guidebook. I can't really choose between my decks because I love all of my decks, you know? All of my decks. Look at this. And it's a white owl too. So maybe that's why some people are in despair. I'm just getting white owl like the Dutch. Maybe you need to stop smoking. Maybe you need to stop smoking white owls. Let me see. Let's see what the what message the owl has for you guys today. I'm also being called to read from the guidebook because I feel like somebody needs to hear this. Although our mind has a thousand questions, our heart only has a few. And those questions, then those are the questions we really need to answer. Let the heart have its moment to speak. Although our mind has a thousand questions and then some, our heart only has a few and those are the questions we really need to answer. Let the heart have its moment to speak. Okay, the first owl, the first message, huh, the first owl, so maybe there's more than one owl coming. Abundance, clairvoyant, treasures. The owl is a mysterious and otherworldly creature found in folklore from east to west. The white owl in this particular deck is the companion of the goddess Lakshmi. and represents wealth, beauty, and good fortune. When the owl card appears, it is an omen that a boon or treasure is on the way, either in spiritual or material form, or both. Oh, excuse me. With owl wisdom on your side, you'll see and know exactly what to do with this boon, how it can further serve your dharma. Look that up, D-H-A-R-M-A how it will further serve your dharma and bring abundance to, abundance to the world. Trust that the wellspring of treasures is infinite. Infinite possibilities. Infinite possibilities out here. That is the power that we have that we're not taught. And so we must repair it ourselves, which is what I was telling Divine Feminine. What we're not taught, we must repair it ourselves. You're not raised knowing how to ride a bike or knowing how to brandish brandish a weapon shoot a weapon i heard rifle 
shooting range. When in balance, the owl is generous, trusting, secure. When out of balance, the owl has money quarrels, scarcity to bring into balance and offering. And it doesn't necessarily mean a physical offering. You take that as it resonates. The second card that we have is unicorn. I understand that the mute, the, 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 I meant to say unicorn, but uh, music, the word music is coming out. So I don't know, maybe that's the, maybe you're thinking of naming the, the company. I, I get label, record label, like you're starting a record label. I don't know, maybe this is the confirmation. The unicorn says, yes, it's a wonderful idea. It's a wonderful idea. Let me read the wisdom that the unicorn has for you. There isn't any need to despair. We're only four cards in and, and already spirit is showing you that they're here. They're here for you. They said, we, they said, you show up and we show out. You do things, you do your part and you put the rest into our hands. Somebody needed to hear that. Okay, unicorn spirit. Wow. Reconnecting to higher wisdom or divinity. Isn't this what I was just saying? I was just saying this. Let me put the let me put the book down and hold the card up. Excuse me. Beautiful, beautiful card. It's difficult to see, hear, or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. Did they ever exist? Perhaps long, long ago. The mind answers, maybe, or it could be, or no way. And look at this. Look at this. Look at how the unicorn, the owl did the same thing. And even though I'm like, oh, oh, oh. But you see, there's a reason. You see what I'm saying? There's a reason. It's moving. Same thing with the owl. It was moving. It's flying away. It is difficult to see here or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning is if, if it's real. Did they ever exist? Perhaps long ago, the mind answers maybe, or it could be, or no way. This very contemplation explains our relationship with divinity and encapsulates encapsulates our wavering belief in the unicorn. We wonder what divinity is. We wonder where our intuition comes from and if we can really even trust it. We think about a higher power and our mind hesitates between yes, no, and maybe. Is it male? Is it female? Does it have a name? Or is it just a feeling? The unicorn card appears and wakes us up to curiosity about the higher self and the divine. It is a card of questioning, exploring, and contemplating the inexplicable. The mind's eye knows there is a deeper, something beyond our day-to-day -day lives, a deeper dimension to our experiences. The mind's eye reaches and reaches and reaches out to grasp. I think this is the longest explanation I've ever had in this book. It reaches, the mind's eye reaches and reaches and reaches out to grasp something more. You are the unicorn and you have begun your quest for answers. Whew. That's deep, man. That is deep. Deep. Because that, to me, answers the questions in your mind about the despair. And the creative blocks. Let go and let God. And yes, it sounds cliche. And yes, it might be harder to do because we're not taught that we should allow. We're not taught that we should. We're taught that when you're not in control of things, when you when you don't control things, you're weak. You, you're not a man. You're not a woman. You're not an adult. You're not handling business. But that couldn't be further from the truth. When you learn to allow the universe, your angels... Your ancestors, your spirit guides, your higher power to assist you. The possibilities are endless. You are on a quest, a vision quest for answers. And guess what? Because you're looking for them, the universe provides. 
It's universal law. What you focus on must expand. There is no struggle in nature. I'll tell you just like I told Divine Feminine. There is no struggle in nature. It doesn't hurt to, for the wind to blow. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt to rain. We have to update our, our thought processes. We buy, you, you buy new J's, you buy new Reeboks, new whatever, whatever the trending, you know, outfits are. We buy, we update clothes, homes, phones. Everybody has to have the newest everything. But what we don't update is the, is, is the consciousness, is the programming, the software in our mind. You have to go through it and look for outdated beliefs. You knew as a child, you knew as a child, you believed in Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy. But as an adult, you don't, you, I mean, come on, come on. That's self-explanatory. That's not rocket science. That's not, you know what I'm saying? You, under, you, you, you need to understand that you need to update your, your, your thought processes. Start to be positive and watch the world. Follow your lead. Take the lead is what I just heard. I love that movie. Maybe somebody needs to watch it. It's filmed in New York. I love any movie filmed in my, in my city, in my state. Take the lead. Take the lead in your life. Step up and know that the universe has your, has your back no matter what. How are you going to know if you're going to fly? How, how are you going to know if you can fly if you don't take the lead? Let's jump right in is what I see. And look at this. You see how all the cards? Um, um, divine feminine got divine timing yesterday. Answer the call. Answer the call of your soul. You won't regret it. There's another card in here that says trust the niggle. I'm not going to read that right now. But if there's a niggling, annoying feeling, that is spirit telling you that you are not in alignment with your soul's path and you are to answer the call now. That is the despair that you're having. That is the creative block that you're having. Well, guess what? They're here to tell you. To answer the call. You will not regret it. You don't need to give a fuck about what anybody thinks about what you're doing or not. Answer the call. I just heard tap, tap, tap in. Tap the fuck in and answer the call. Okay? You will not regret it. You will not regret it. Okay, let's read. And, and then I'm looking at it. You're already doing it. Man... Do not let the little voice, you see, meditation comes in because meditation quiets that little voice. You know, the voice that knows everything. It thinks it knows everything. My personal analogy for my ego, the little voice, is the fact that it is a backseat driver. It has no fucking driver's license and wants to drive. That's why we get fucked up out here. You may not follow the little voice. The journey is to know that you tell the little voice what to do. You create your realities. The little voice has a million uh, thoughts, just like the cards are saying. A million thoughts. And so how you clean your thoughts and how you cleanse your thoughts is a meaning, keeping them pure and keeping them positive and helping you to create the life that you want is by answering the call. Your guidance, look at this now. See this? What is your soul calling you to do? Your guidance is divinely guided. You are being called to answer the call of your soul. Like I said, it might be scary. It might not make sense. But if you trust your soul's yearnings, please understand that I'm a channel and I'm a medium. And if any messages come through, it is, this is deep. We're on a vision quest for wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Gnosis, knowledge of self. I don't know why, but I guess I can't say I don't know why. I've been watching, as a New York, I'm going to always rep my city, no matter where I live. Rep your set, I just heard. 
I've been watching um on TV. I've been watching uh the Wu Tang saga. And I'm hearing 5% of supreme Allah, supreme mathematics, supreme alphabet. Listen, there's no one way, okay? There's no one way. Another, one of my favorite readers on YouTube, shout out to the ghetto nun. I love her. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? There's no one way. She said, there's only one way. And that's your way. She said, there is only one way to get to God, and that is your way. So nobody can't tell you. Nobody can't tell you that your way is wrong. Let me continue. It might be scary. It might not make sense. But if you trust your soul's yearnings, you will live a life beyond your mind, beyond what your mind could possibly imagine. Now, going back to what I was telling you about the little voice, Another analogy of mine is the little voice is looking through life through a peephole. It does not realize that if you bust down the door, I just heard Biggie kicking the door. Kick in the door. Kick the damn door down. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. Bob Marley integrated that phrase into his music, but it originated from Marcus Messiah. Garvey, Mr. Garvey. But if you trust your soul's yearnings, you will live a life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine. The possibilities are infinite when you kick down the door of your mind. Answering your soul's calling is not a one-time thing, but rather a lifelong dance. Deep down, you already know what you long for, what your soul yearns for. They just show me the Nike check. Just do it. It ain't nothing to it but to do it. Whatever you are called to do, that is your calling. Do not overthink it. Do not wait for permission. Just say yes. Most people are waiting for a step-by-step -step plan before they take the first step. But intuition does not work like that. It takes faith, faith and courage to answer the calls of your soul. And that is why most people do not do it. But you are not most people. You are not most people. You are not most people you are in exactly the right place to answer your calling now 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 you do not need to know the whole plan you do not need to know where it is leading you just need to take the next step like the earlier cards told you take the leap of faith how are you going to know if you can fly if your wings even work what if you have wings that they don't work You have wings that they don't work right now because you're not flying. That's the only reason that they don't work. And guess what's going to happen? Guess what I just saw? Spirit pushing you off. And look at this. And here's the crazy part. In the tarot, that circle means the absolute. Okay? The fool's journey in the tarot begins. It has a zero on it. And it's really not a zero per se. There's levels to the shit I just heard. It is a zero. It is the beginning. It's a circle. It's the absolute. Un unwavering, unbroken, cannot be broken. I love that little Wayne song. You can't um, break down what can't be broken, okay? And that's you. Warrior of light. Beacon of light. You are in exactly the right place to answer your calling now. You do not need to know the whole plan. You don't need to know where it's leading. You just need to take the next step. No one has ever had the complete perfect plan. No one ever. No one ever. There is no end destination. There is no right or wrong way to do it. And you do not need permission from anyone else. We repeat, do not need permission from anyone else. Sometimes the more resistance we have around... A soul's sometimes the more resistance we have around a soul's calling, the more important it is to do it. Sometimes the more resistance we have around answering a soul's calling, the more important it is to answer it. What is your soul calling you to do? Just do it. Know that the universe is guiding your light, work your light. Work your light is the name of the oracle. See? Work it. 
shine it. Again, I'm a New Yorker, like the Statue of Liberty, baby. Okay? Shine that light. We are here on a job as souls. On a job. No victims, no villains. I love that book. I was selling Divine. Um, it's, it comes from a book I read called uh, Conversations with God. Um, look that up, Neil Donald Walsh. What I'm going to be doing from time to time is recommending books that have changed my life. I feel a big weight lifted. I do. I know that some people, you know, we, we, we all still have questions. But meditation, like we were saying, meditation quiets the mind's chatter. The monkey mind is what they call the ego mind. I'm just hearing habit is unconscious. Habit is unconscious. When you do things out of habit, you have to eat every day because they say you should. You follow the calling of your soul and then you are moved, guided, alignly, excuse me, divinely aligned, divinely guided. You move as you, you are guided to move as you need to when you allow the universe to order your steps. The next uh, set of cards out I'm going to be using is called the Anubis Oracle. That's the one that flipped out. This is the front of the cards. I feel like somebody needed to know that. Needed me to see. Somebody needed to see that. You see? You see how it all fits together like pieces of a puzzle. Sacred purpose. Seven, Petar, Newt, Geb, and Anubis. I am Ra is what I just heard. I know that's right. I am Ra. And I know a lot of people are either thinking about it or on the path right now because I personally started looking, doing this research myself. Um, the law of one. The law of one teachings. Look that up. I didn't pull these cards for the feminine, but I'm being moved to call them, be, you know, be, being moved to pull that card for um, the, the masculines. Okay. Bear with me one second. Maybe I should have looked. And you know what spirit said? Oh, no, you need to mark this off too, like you did the other books. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 I, I can find it. I can do that. And now, now, now look at me. And now look at me. Hold on one second, guys. Whew, excuse me. Petar speaks from, and I just heard Peter pop off. Pata, I always say pata pop off. Whew, Peter pop off. Sacred purpose. Pata speaks from his intelligent heart and really, um, excuse me, whoa, whoa. I just heard Israeli. I was trying to say reality, but Israeli came out. Pata speaks from his intelligent heart and reality is created. Pita speaks from his intelligent heart and reality is created. Like I said, abracadabra means, if I didn't say it, I know I told um, Divine Feminine. Abracadabra means I create as I speak. It is Hebrew, it's Aramaic, for I create as I speak. You may not speak illness, chaos into your life and expect any different. You know, that's why you're in despair. They said, stop talking that shit. Our ancestors find it disrespectful even when you talk badly about yourself. You know why? You know why? Did you know why? Because you are an ancestor. You are somebody's ancestor. Do you understand that? You speak life. Speak life. Let me finish reading this, the message. 
Abraham Hicks. I'm being called to tell you guys this. Abraham he Abraham Hicks says our words have the power to create worlds. Our words have the power to create worlds. Petar speaks from his intelligent heart and reality is created. Seven is a sacred number. Anubis, the fully awakened shaman priest, enters the sacred garden. I just heard midnight in the garden of good and evil. The fully awakened shaman priest enters the sacred garden through the portal created by the divine parents, the overarching sky goddess, Newt. The, the overarching sky goddess, Newt, and the rich, green, fertile earth god, Geb. Thoth is also represent, excuse me, represent, but it meant, I'm sorry, I'm just butchering words here. Thoth is also present as the rainbow serpent who offers the fruit of wisdom and eternal life from the ancient tree. As you focus it on the images on this card, perceive your current life situations with the open-hearted wisdom of the shaman priest Anubis so that what is being birthed or created through your thoughts, words, activities, actions, and everyday story have the greatest potential for completion and wholeness. I think that goes without saying. I think you guys are getting the message. You speak life. You are a magician. We're in magician energies right now. And if people have not noticed, that is what is happening with the earth. The earth is cleansing our the earth is cleansing herself from all energies that no longer serve her or her inhabitants, and that is us. Cleansing herself, and you need to do the same. Cleanse yourself of any thought. This is what I'm being moved to do. Maybe you guys need to get some amethyst. Amethyst. I call my amethyst Amy. No, don't bite. She said, you got to get your own name. <laughs> now, guess what? I love to laugh and I'm lighthearted. So guess what? I have a Dr. Seuss deck. Yeah, I said Dr. Seuss as in Sam I am. This is the letter. This always reminds me of Sesame Street at the end. Remember? And guess what? Guess what their address was? One, two, three. One, two, three. Look what the back. And I know this is a divine masculine video, but guess what? Maybe somebody's in despair about their queen. I'm getting that. I am. You're in your head about it. But guess what? Just do it. You're never going to know if you don't do it, right? Take the leap of faith. If it's a no, you know You know what my, uh, my, my family used to tell us growing up? The worst you could hear is no, right? Nobody wants to hear no, but at least you have clarity. If you have clarity, then you can move forward. Three, 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 when I said that. Look angel numbers up. Q also represents getting off the loop of the, co of the cosmic cycle. You guys, look anything that you're not understanding what I'm saying. Look it up. Ignorance is a choice in the age of information. You can look up anything that you want to know. Q is getting off the endless loop of the cosmic cycle. Do you understand that? Do you understand how heavy these messages are right now? You are done with that. With despair, done with creative blocks, done. With not being clear on what you need to do. Let me tell you something. Strength and courage does not mean that you does having strength and courage doesn't mean that you are not fearful. It doesn't mean that at all. And I think that somebody needed to hear that. I mean, I have to talk to myself as well. I tell my teenagers that <laughs> the ghetto nun always says that I love her. Check her channel out. Um, and I, am I tripping or not? Tarot, but she always references keeping your thoughts as pure as the water. And I know she gets that from the golden child. And I watched that again the other day and I was cracking up. We are golden children. Yesterday when I pulled for um, 
divine feminine they had aquarius aquarius came up and we're in the age of aquarius the golden age infinite possibilities out here man we are golden children living in a golden age okay you have the power to create your reality and you may not focus on anything that brings you despair you may not focus on anything that brings you creative blocks focus on your answering your call of your soul focus on your sacred purpose This deck is crazy. Has me cracking up every day. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know this, but the universe loves to laugh, loves to laugh. Loves to laugh. Absolutely loves to laugh. <laughs> this says you can learn a lot of good lessons from a few fucked up people. You sure can. Even people, as I always say, because I'm a woman of my word, a woman of authority, a woman of compassion. And damn it, in our own words, I am petty. I'm not on the fuck shit. So guess what? I can take, even if I don't fuck with you no more, I can take wisdom from you, jewels from you, even if you're not smart. Everybody has a few jewels of wisdom. You can learn something from a baby. You can learn a lot of good lessons from a few fucked up people. Yeah, it actually says that. I'm not making this up. These cards are crazy. Take a moment and think about a major lesson in your life. Did your heart get broken? Did a friend betray you? Did that heartbreak teach you not to settle? Are you resilient? and self-reliant now because you had to be think of the fucked up person who taught you that lesson send them a little cosmic thank you gratitude for the lesson you learned does not excuse what they did but it does help you avoid going back in for the same lesson with a new fucked up person though let me tell you something on this journey you might want to cuss out the people who fucked you over but when I tell you, I started trailing off because sometimes spirit has so many messages and I'm trying to, you know, put them into file cabinet. To, to, so, you know, when they speak to me, they can speak to me any old crazy way and I'll get the message. But the message needs to be clear and coherent for my, uh, my followers. So what I'm trying to tell you is that you can learn lessons. Oh, I, 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 I'm remembering my train of thought. Now, what I was telling you was... The book, Conver there's a series of books called Conversations with God, and there's four books. But the book is telling you that when you, no victims and no villains, as souls, we're out here, contracted, think about it like you, 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 you auditioned for a part before you got here, and we got the job, and now we're on the job. And the cycle, major cycles have ended. Um, Divine Feminine got a uh, change change and divine timing yesterday cycles major cycles have ended and my analogy is we finished that job and now we're being assigned a new job like at a staffing agency so to speak a cosmic staffing agency we're being reassigned so now you have the chance to create your life anew easter just passed rise up rise up like a phoenix out of the ashes, rise up out of them fucked up despair thoughts. Those creative blocks will decease, cease and desist. Cease and desist is what I'm hearing. When you let the unicorn spirit help you, the owl spirit help you, and all, I'm also being moved to tell you anytime you see, well, this is what I do for me, I know for guidance and wisdom, this is what helps. Pay attention to all the signs around you all the time. The universe is always speaking to us as who's paying attention. Um, sometimes answers don't come in the way that we want, you know. Whew. Okay. Now, let me move these cards. I have... I made my own... I have two of my own deck. I have two of my own decks, plural. Excuse me. 
let's see what comes out of this debt. Three to six months. <clears throat> Look at this shit here. Look at this. This is what's on the other deck. Divine masculine. Pay attention to what I'm telling you. Divine feminine pulled this card as well. Overnight celebrity when you get rid of those fucked up thoughts. Okay? Infinite possibilities. Movie star, movie producer. Israeli, I'm hearing again. Israel. Israel. Maybe that's somebody's name. Maybe you're naming the baby. Yeah, I kind of get somebody naming the baby that. Phone combos. Phone combos. Depression. No more third party. Bipolar disorder. Maybe that's what you're in despair about. And guess what? I... I'm sorry if their depression came out for divine mask, divine feminine as well. I'm sorry for anybody going through depression right now. There's a lot going on in the world. But know that you're on the road to recovery. Eminem, road to recovery. Divine masculine. Maybe that's why you're in despair. Stop it. I just heard, I just seen somebody slapping a hand. Stop this. Because maybe that's why you're in despair. High vibe, high vibing came. That person, that boss is, whew, I just got this message. They are not high vibing. You are not going to get what the fuck they promised you. They're full of shit. That's confirmation for somebody. I know it is. And you know it. You know it. You're not going to get what the fuck they promise you. They don't have it to give. That's what I just heard. They don't have it to give. It's not theirs to promise. Somebody's losing their job, I just heard. Somebody's about to get fired. Damn. And guess what I get? You're on vacation at work when you come back. It's a fucking wrap because they find out about the boss. That's what I'm getting for somebody. It's divinely aligned that you cut this shit out. Mm -mm. It's not love. It's sex. Okay? It's not love. You're not lovers. Good influence flew all the way over here. Look at that shit. You think they don't talk to you? You think the angels don't talk to you? Look, they're far. That's what that means. Far from being seen. You see how it fell all the way over here? Far from being a good influence. Far from it. They're great at math and numbers. Well, how come they can't do the math? That they're <laughs> fucking with the wrong one. This is what's going to happen. You or them. You're feeling trapped in your thoughts. Somebody. Let it go, man. Create your own reality. Create your own reality. I hate my children. And that's somebody. That, that's the boss that you're fucking. <sighs> Issues. Issues. Hell no, I don't want to come to your fucking place and get the fucking, and get set up. I just heard Obi Trice. Remember that fucking song with Nate Dogg? Rest in peace to Nate Dogg. This fucking set up. Hell no, I don't want to come to your fucking house. Got me fucked up. Communication upside down. True love upside down. Fake as fuck. Woo! Look at this. Fake as fuck, Okay. Here's what I'm getting. Oh, because you do Reiki and you do yoga. Beware of the false light workers. Beware of the false prophet. What you think? Doing yogi? Yogi. Somebody is a yogi. Somebody is a yogi. So you think that because you're a yogi, you do yogi, you do yoga and Reiki, that you're on the up and up, that you're on a spiritual path? Yeah, right. Fake as fuck. Okay? Now, look at this. Karmic debt, paid in full, upside down. You didn't pay shit in full.
one year you've been dealing with this shit. Don't you think it's time to quit? Don't you think it's time to give it a rest? Shut the fuck up. They want me to shut the fuck up. But the ancestors have said, <laughs> you got me fucked up. You got us fucked up. They want us to shut the fuck up about giving the messages. But guess what? It came upside down. So the ancestors say, fuck you, pay me. The ancestors say, I'm uninspired. And I'm hearing, ring the alarm. Um, Beyonce's ring the alarm. I feel like I need to leave this up here. <laughs> um, Divine Feminine um, pulled uh, Wasting Time yesterday. Wasting Time. That's a confirmation. Wasting Time. 111 is also a, a, a manifest. Um, the one, 111 is an angel number. Anytime you see, you know, even 666, the foolishness that they teach you, 666 is an angel number. That means balance, centeredness, wholeness. And guess what? Whoo! When you're all of those things, yeah, you're a motherfucking beast. You hear me? Answer the call of your soul. This is the one, one, one. All ones means it's time to go. Toxic family members. Leave them out too. Sexually, frustra fr sexually frustrated. Look at this shit. You see how you can't make this up? You already know, man. You know what the fuck you have to do. You don't need permission. You don't need anybody's permission like the other messages, other cards are telling you. What you need anybody else's permission for? Once in a blue, you're going to hear the Jamaican accent come out. When you leave that shit alone, this is where you'll be, relaxing on vacation. <sighs> Calgon, take me away. Stop playing, man. That's self-explanatory. We're grown. Okay? And that better not be with the fucking boss. Oh, my God. That's what I just got. <laughs> look, look at this. You see how the cards don't... Why? 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 For the power that they do not have to give you. They do not have the power. It's not theirs to give. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. You see how you can't make this up? Liar. They're a fucking liar. And either you are going to lose that job or they're going to lose that job. Or both. Look, jackpot. Both. So since you're hearing this confirmation, I feel like you already know, but you don't want to see shit. Open your eyes and go look. Don't be stupid. You know something is coming. We're grown. Okay? It's fucking COVID out here. Go get a job. Get a new one. Start looking for one. And start looking for one that is occupationally aligned. Look at this. Because. Why? Why? Because you are a mystic healer. You don't have time for the foolishness. I tell myself and I tell my clients all the time. The angels. The demons. Excuse me. The demons know who we are. The angels. The demons know who the angels are even before the angels know. Because you're an alchemist. You have the choice to create. Leave the fuck shit in the past, man. Sneaky fucking neighbors. Do you have any more messages? No. Because you know what you have to do. I'm smelling. I'm smelling. I'm smelling. <laughs> I'm sm sneaky neighbors fell into my lap. I feel like the sneaky... <laughs> I just heard put that pipe in her lap. She didn't know how to act. Well, guess what? Somebody fucking sneaking. I can't trust you. Prosperity. Somebody wants to be with you. Somebody that gives a fuck. You guys have any other messages? Well, guess what? I'm being you. I'm being called. You. I'm being called to use my. Um my Dr. Seuss deck again. So guess what? Somebody fucking playing games and look at what's at the bottom. Didn't I tell you? Q? What's at the top? Getting off of the cosmic loop. The hamster wheel. The labyrinth. The maze. The rat race. 
like I tell divine feminine or anybody, when spirit makes me use a baby deck, okay? Dr. Seuss deck, that means it's elementary, man. Sherlock Holmes, it's elementary. Watson, see you later, alligator. Bye. And look at the eight. The alpha and the omega. Bye. Do you have any more messages? No. No. You know what you have to do. Just do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching. And be well, be blessed. And remember, remember that you're always going to be guided once you allow. Leave the foolishness in the past and create your life anew. Be blessed. See you next video.